To do anything, you need power. Power for our blenders and buses, lamps and libraries, homes and hospitals. We need power to live. But power, of course, costs. The chargers come with a charge attached. Energy bills piled on kitchen counters and Senate desks. This power is not for free. Even the earth herself pays in her coals. Fossil fueling our consumptions has consumed us from the inside out. This land vomits vegetation without mineral, so we eat of our own waste and call that nourishment. Gas is choking our atmosphere, closed and hot as a greenhouse. And in this heat, grew tensions, hot as a boiling ocean, bullets and tanks just weren't cutting it. To do anything, you need power. So they pulled hell from the core of the earth and delivered it to our doors. Called it discovery. Called it winning. Uranium mined out of the sacred. Splitting atoms and communities. Rolling hills of grain turned toxic. We dragged out of this land and puffed the skies full of a funeral pyre smoke. Said this science can save us as it kills us. Call this energy clean, with blood on our hands, and poison in our soil. What's a windmill to a war? But we listen to the wind anyway. Hear her cry at the fumes she's been forced to carry. Heed her warnings and her prayers, and we have decided on a different future. But to do anything, you do need power. And this comes from the blood, not on our hands, but in them. Pumping and pushing all of us forward, the electricity between our nerves and our memories. We know this conflict is nostalgic, but even greater is our fight. So we fight with human power, people power. This is a living supernova. We let our comrades fuel us instead of chemicals sink our teeth into a new horizon without mushroom clouds over our neighborhoods. We create a future for us and our children that is in harmony with our lands, not destruction. And that is not inherently safe, but it is truly safe at its core. We learn, we lobby, we organize, and we build, we build real power together. We have it here. Greater than any politician or staffer, this power does not come from them. It comes from all of us in this room, and we need this power. Not for this short.